Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello everybody, Aaron of Asshole Consulting here. Go to assholeconsulting.com and I will answer your questions for a fee. I actually have people, you know what you're gonna, you're gonna charge? Um, pirate, asshole. Aaron, I don't have a specific question to ask. I'm just looking for your opinion, thoughts and rants on the SEC and its failure to protect the hardworking people that worked and, to, that worked and saved enough to invest. This could include the shady business of investment analysts pushing crappy stocks and how they are legally allowed to do so. I'm not a fan of government and all of its agencies, but I feel that if we are going to have an agency claim to protect investors, it should protect them, them and not give them a false sense of security that sets them up to be cheated. I am I'm a reasonable, knowledgeable investor and know how to analyze the fundamentals of a company decently, but many people do not have that skill. I taught intro to econ labs to pay for grad school and engineering school, and many brilliant STEM students just could not wrap their heads around some basic market knowledge. Should we just tell these uh, people the, of the invest the investing world is too dangerous for them? I know this is vague, but I'm interested to see where you go with it. Uh, from my own experience, I feel the SEC has utterly failed. He then got, this is a lengthy email. I'm succinctifying, and he talks about uh, the shenanigans going on in the oil industry. Uh, now companies are still issuing new stocks and bonds to get money to pay for the huge debt obligations. Yeah, they all borrowed money. They did. Um, now, it's not the SEC's fault uh, that interest rates are so low. And you talked that up with the Fed. And also the fact no one wants to, I mean, this is about the only industry that was booming. No one else wants to borrow all these monies. And so the money just sits there. You got lower interest rates. Not to mention all these idiot foreigners want to flood our economy borrowing our money. So there's plenty of supply. There's very little demand. So interest rates are low. Uh, I frequently see analysts claim these companies are good buys. I know the industry and there's just about nothing you could do to get me to invest in any as in them. The SEC allows oil and gas companies to value the reserves. But, okay, look, here's the difference. <clears throat> I think you're confusing what the role of the SEC and other government organizations and entities are and what the role of the individual investor is. Okay, The SEC... Uh, and the FDIC and the Fed and the Office of Thrift, Sup Thrift Supervision, all these other, well, I, that's more of the banking world. Let's just stick with the SEC because you seem to be talking about it. Whatever government agency is out there, it is not there to make things fair. It is not there to guarantee that you have a rate of return on your investments. It is not there to do its research for you. It is there, especially the SEC, is there to make sure that you submit if you're going to publicly trade your stock on, on a public exchange and sell it to the public, that you make your financials transparent. It's more about transparency and clarity. Right? And this is why you have FASB, uh, lesser extent FINRA, but um, we'll see, a gap. You have all these accounting rules and organizations set up to say, here's how we're going to account for things, and here's what the real world looks like, and here's what the, this company looks like, and this is what the financial statements really look like. Uh, and then the SEC goes, okay, you submit it to us, all right, you, you registered with it, you filed it with us, and now we, I don't know, give it our blessing, whatever. We require filings for these things, 8K, 10K, all the 10Q. And so, but that's all it does, all right? It's the same thing like kind of um, the Securities Industry Protection Corporation or the FDIC. They're there to protect against fraud, like outright theft and embezzlement. They're not there to guarantee that your price goes up. And that is where the individual is responsible or the investor is responsible. Those people have to do their research and the analysis. So you bring up a very great point. Most people are not educated enough to be investing in the market. They just aren't. And that's why they outsource it to a professional money manager or a financial advisor or a mutual fund. They, they, a mutual fund is just somebody who's managing your money for you in these stocks. Now, you can get upset and pissed off at those people because they do, frankly, a shitty job. They really do a crappy job. Um, very few, uh, minority of them beat the index, so you might as well just go ahead and invest in the index. Um, 
And as you see, you know, the, the investment analysts say, oh, everything's a fucking buy. You know, everything was a buy. Remember 1998, every like 98% of the investment advice recommendation, recommendation from these fucking Wall Street genius gurus was buy or strong buy. Um, these dumbass corporate elite investment banks who got their asses handed to them and their pants were caught down. Fucking Lehman Brothers went belly up, and then what? Everyone pretty much got a bailout. Ever all of our financial genius at, at, at you know 2007, they thought really they thought we didn't see any problems in the future of the economy. And you had common sense people. You can't even say brilliant geniuses, but just common sense people like Schiff, Schiller, myself. Of course, I'm ranked up there with those guys who saw otherwise. Um, so, so you could get pissed off at them. You could say they fa uh, failed to do their fiduciary responsibility. Uh, but in the end, who's the one that hires them? It's the people who outsource the money to go and invest. And so that's where I, I don't care. I really don't care that people lost all their money in the dot-com crash or lost all their money in the housing crash or lost all their money in the financial crisis. I really don't care because I busted my ass off to learn how to study and value stocks and investments and assets. And then, and that's not even it. But then when I literally tried to explain to people the dot-coms were overvalued, Asian currency crisis was coming, um, the housing bubble, all I caught all I caught from everybody was flack and guff and bullshit. And not only was that coming from bosses and, and, and people who were corrupt and entrenched in the system and making money off of commission and sales, uh, it was the people who didn't want to hear the fact that their house was overvalued and that they were underwater. It, it was the, uh, the douchebag middle-aged man with a tan and a gut from Arizona who had a fucking medallion nestled in his gray haired chest who didn't want to believe that all of his fucking worthless shitty strip malls that he owned that were leased out at about a 50% rate uh, he, he was insolvent and bankrupt and I wouldn't fucking lend it oh they, they, oh, they hate your guts then well fuck them I don't care all these people who vote in Barack Obama and then like uh, hate corporations and demand the rich pay their fair share, but then bitch and whine that there's no money in their pension or their 401k goes down or their stock price goes down. These people who cannot connect corporate profits to their 401k or their IRA or their 403b or their 457, fuck them. Fuck them. They have to study. This is, this is their problem. So I hate to actually back up the SEC. Um... But the SEC, that's, it's not its job to educate the people. And it's not its job to ensure that their investments go up. It's not their job to ensure even people know what the hell they're doing. Their job is basically to be a depository for financial statements and then have all these various rules and requirements in terms of the quality and caliber of those financial statements that need when they get audited by Price Waterhouse, uh, not Morgan Stanley, Pete Marwa, KMPG. I don't know, is Deloitte and Touche around anymore? There used to be like the big six, and I was like, what, the big three or something? But that's their job, is it's like, look, we're not making an investment decision, we're just making sure these people comply. And you know what? People better get used to it by now after all these bubbles. Corporate douchebags are still going to run circles around them. They're still going to lie. WorldCom, you know, that's how we got Sarbanes-Oxley, um, what was it, Dodd-Frank, that's where all the banking regulations came in. These, these, just because you add regulations doesn't mean these people all of a sudden go from being evil to good or dumb to smart. The people I've worked in banking are still dumber than fucks. They, should, they just closed down the bank that I worked at over at Wyoming. <laughs> it was like 2014, seven years after the financial crisis. All right, People in banking are dumb. People in finance are dumb. And the smart ones are typically immoral, amoral motherfuckers who will subvert and lie and get their monies and their bailouts. Okay? So I, you know, it's up to the people. This is why I have my classes online. At any point in time, people can get off their lazy asses, stop watching the Kim Kardashian ass show, and go learn and teach themselves financial statement analysis. They can learn to value stocks. They can learn uh, about interest rates. They can learn about, but they can, at any time they can. But no, if they're too busy learning about sociology and, and social justice worrying and raising awareness and injustice and privilege and trigger warnings and, and all this utter fucking crap, fuck them. They deserve to be taken. So that's, you know, and it's not, I know, I know you want to do the right thing. 
And I know you see all these these ass wipes running around in, in the oil industry. I'm sure it's not your engineers. I'm sure it is the financiers that own the, the, the company and they're playing and they're writing options on the, on the oil futures and all that other crap. Uh, not your problem, dude. Just, just take your fucking money and run. Just take your fucking money and run. And don't get worked up about it that you see this insanity going on because that's what all these people who have trillions of dollars want to do. They want to do this. They want to do high-frequency trading. They want to do options writing. They want to um, leverage to the hilt. It's not your company. And it's insanity. It's insanity. And they'll go belly up. I know the, the platform where the drills are, they're closing. They're closing. So you are right. But you're going to blow a gasket if you think you're going to be able to do something about it or actually think about just how much injustice and, and more so stupidity uh, is occurring in, in, the, in these industries. Uh, but don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. It's not your problem. Make your money. Just, just be happy. Um, you know, you can always hedge against it, you know, short it if you want. Sell when you think it's at a peak. You can, you can get yours. But trying to get out of the 310 million Americans what I estimate to be at least 275 million fucking retards, just fucking lazy, completely ignorant about basic economics and finance retards, no. And you know what? When you try and help them out, what are you? You're, you're a party pooper. You're a downer. I had people yelling at me. Um, when I was uh, talking about the, the dot com, but I was an idiot. And, and heck, if you even talk about the, the budget, then you're a racist and a sexist. And all. Fuck you. When your social security check comes in and it cashes, but inflation has eroded it away. <laughs> when foreigners stop buying U.S. But you know, it's not. I just you just laugh. Like I mean. It, perfect example like 2000 late 2008 mid 2008 when it was pretty obvious the stock market was crashing or not the stock market the housing market was crashing i think it was even mid late 2007 you know how awesome it was we had some douchebag in my town he lived i think in north oaks it's a private community north of where i live and he had like a Bentley or something like that oh there are all these people who got bust tom petters all these missile tom petters danny hecker um, Adam Lefevre, all you, you don't know these people. All these guys got busted, either for outright corruption or they're just stupid fucking business decisions. And it was great to see them because they were so cool. They drove the Bentleys and the Lexuses and the, not the Lexus, the Lotuses. And they were just so smart. And they were always like the 40 under 40. They got that. They got the, the top 40 under 40. Like the top 40 investment executive. Like they're, hey, they're really up and coming. You never fucking see them make it to like top notch. They're fucking flashes in the pan. And to see all these people, I got another guy who is like, I work for him, he was a dot-com genius, he was a fucking genius. He's, he's gone, his wife divorced him, he, uh, he was living with his parents-in-law, oh, it was great, but he had to have the brand newest computers and the, and the SUV, they, they lose it in the end. And, and what's great is not just the financial poverty and the divorce and their children hating them. That, that's not the best. The best is their ego, where what they thought that they were in command of and it was all them and not huge, massive, multi-trillion dollar global economic forces way outside of their control that they were just getting lucky on. When these fuckers, their egos get crushed. Oh, it's like Hitler in the bunker, man. When the Russians finally call, he's like, oh shit, well, there it is. it's great. It's great. So revel in their misery. Revel when they their house gets repossessed or their car gets repossessed or they lose all their money and they're not buying rounds anymore over at Dickinson and wherever else it is. It just, just that's what you should take and revel in is the price they're about to pay. So anyway, that's the best I got. Uh, wish you the best. Toodles.